What is up, everybody? Um, back with another video, man. Today we're going to Honeycomb Crazy, the Demon of Alabama by Hip Hop Daily. So, <clears throat> get into it. Honeycomb Brazy is one of the hottest artists from Alabama, but the rapper has also had a pretty rough come up that has included spending over 10 years in prison, going viral for getting shot on IG Live, and having to deal with the brutal murder of his grandparents, who were both killed and had their house. Oh, I did see this. I did see this. Set on fire. Now, the rapper will be going back to prison after being sentenced to 13 and a half years for violating his probation by posing in a music video with guns and drugs. Mm, so, he served, he gonna serve. 23 years in prison. Let's take a closer look at the wildlife and career of Honeycomb Brazy. Brazy grew up in Mobile, Alabama, an area that was full of drugs, crime, and violence. The rapper's parents were in and out of jail while he was growing up, and he often stayed with his grandparents. At age 10, he was arrested for the first time after breaking into a factory and riding go-karts with his friends until the police came. After that, breaking into a factory and riding go-karts. Bro, at, at 10 years, bro, what? He was put on probation. Brazy said that he didn't even make it to high school, which his mom wasn't happy about. But there wasn't much she could say because she was in and out of jail herself. After that, he went and stayed with his aunt for a while, but ended up shooting his own cousin over a money dispute. Whoa, wait, wait. You shot your cousin? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like on accident? Nah, like on purpose. <laughs> He said there was a business situation between his cousin and his dad where some money came up missing. His dad was locked up at the time on a murder charge, so Brazy handled the dispute for him. The cousin ended up paralyzed after the shooting, which caused problems. Bro, you paralyzed your cousin over some money? And bro, oh bro, that is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that is crazy. That is crazy. And I know it can have been a, like a bunch of money. It can have been like over $5,000, bro. Problems between Brazy and his aunt, but he says that his cousin is back to walking and their relationship is fine now. He was only 13. Yeah, if somebody, if my cousin was to ever shoot me and I got paralyzed, bro, we're never, bro, no, bro, it's, it's up in this stuff, bro. It's no, it's no way. The time of the shooting, cool he ended up going on the run before getting arrested. This would be the first time he was sent to prison and wouldn't get out until he was 16 or 17. Right after being released, he would get caught up in another situation where he was arrested for first degree robbery and attempted murder. Brazy says that he didn't actually commit this crime. It was his friend Derek Det Thomas who pulled the trigger. They were together on the day of the robbery, and police reports showed that the victim was walking down the street when he was approached by two teens. They stopped and talked for a few minutes until one of them pulled out a gun and shot him in the leg. The other teen grabbed the money out of his pockets, and they both ran away. The two robbers were later identified as Det and Brazy. Det was the one who actually shot the victim, but because Brazy was more well known, they ended up arresting him first. But on the day that Brazy appeared in court to face these charges, Det would end up getting murdered. He was shot and killed over a $5 dice game by a 40-year-old man. Bro, you're telling me he got shot and killed over a $5 dice game? Bro, what is Bro, what is going on, bro? What is going on? A man named Anthony Williams. A $5 dice he game. He was shot and killed over a $5 dice game. $5, bro? A happy meal at McDonald's, bro? You got Bro, that is by a 40-year-old man named Anthony Williams. That is crazy. Brazy would end up doing four years for that charge. But as soon as he got back on the streets, he went right back to his old ways and caught another body. In February 2016, just after Brazy was released for the robbery and attempted murder, he allegedly shot 22-year-old Ladarius Stank Moore, who was a childhood friend. Stank was shot and killed at the Woodlands Apartments where he lived with his girlfriend. He showed up to their apartment and his girlfriend didn't want to let him in. He ended up kicking on the door and found Brazy inside, who was supposedly there to sell her weed. They started fighting, and eventually, someone pulled a gun, leaving Stank dead. This murder earned Brazy a ton of enemies in his hood because Stank was well-known and loved in the area. Brazy went on the run for a while, but was eventually arrested and charged for the murder. He would end up beating the charge, but would spend over a year in jail fighting the case. While he was in jail, he would get into tons of fights and even admitted to stabbing three people in one day. Like, hell yeah, I yeah. stabbed three one day. Plus, he would even end up getting to spend some quality time with his family, spending six months in the same cell as his father, who was still serving time for murder. Brazy and his father have the same name, but different last names, so the jail staff didn't even know they were related. Brazy somehow got the murder charge overturned, but as soon as he was back on the streets, there was more problems. Stank's murder had turned his own hood against him, and many of his childhood friends were now his ops. Once he got out, Brazy would end up getting shot several times. One of the bullets hit him in the head, putting him into a coma for a week, and the doctor said that he would probably- Bro, he got shot in the head and was in a coma, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, 
this is going on in Alabama, bro. <laughs> what? We never walk again. But bro, this seemed after... like Chirac in Jacksonville, bro. What's going on, bro? After a few months, what is going rapper on? was back on the streets and planning his revenge on the people that almost took his life. It was also around this time that he started booking studio time and decided to take rap more seriously. In June 2018, he dropped a track called Freestyle, which quickly went viral. It put him on the map as one of the hottest up-and-coming rappers from the South and eventually earned him a deal with Rap A Lot Records. Things seemed like they were going good for Brazy and that he may have made it out of the streets. But in February 2020, he was sent back to jail for violating his probation. And breaking now at 10, a mobile rapper is going back to prison just a few hours ago. A judge revoking probation for Honeycomb Brazy. In 2016, the rapper was arrested on gun charges and sentenced to 15 years in jail for violating his probation. The court would eventually reduce- 15 years for violating your probation, bro. Oh my God. It's death. He was the sentence and only made him do 18 months, then serve another five years of probation. In January 2020, his parole office filed a motion to have his probation revoked for possession of marijuana and a firearm. Brazy was brought back to jail, but the charge was dropped after the court failed to prove that he was actually in possession of the weed or the gun, and he was allowed to walk free. After being released, Brazy would end up getting into another shootout. Wait, hold on. I just, I just, bro, this dude had a gold camo on the AK, bro. <laughs> bro, wait, wait, I just realized dude had a gold camo on the AK, bro. What is on, bro? What is going on, bro? In January 2020, his parole office filed a motion to have his probation revoked for possession. Bro, he got a gold AK, bro. <laughs> I'm so, bro, what is going on, bro? Where where are they finding this stuff, bro? What, bro? ...of marijuana bro. and a firearm. Brazy was brought back to jail, <laughs> but the charge was dropped after the court failed to prove that he was actually in possession of the weed or the gun, and he was allowed to walk free. After being released, Brazy would end up getting into another shootout that almost got him this time. He and his homies were on Facebook Live, sitting in the car outside a barbershop in Montgomery County, Alabama, a few hours from Mobile. A gray BMW slid through and started letting off shots, so Brazy and his crew started firing back. Oh, what? What? What is going on? What is going on, bro? Bro, you telling me they get in a literally a team death match on on Facebook, bro, bro, bro? What? It's not clear if anyone was hit, but many think that Brazy and his crew were set up. Brazy even released a surveillance footage from outside the barbershop showing him and his people firing back in self-defense. Then, in February, what? from outside So you telling me somebody started shooting at the barbershop and you run out of the car with with a pistol and you and charge at bro. Bro, bro, they they <laughs> they got it, bro. They they got it, bro. Bro, Alec, yeah, bro. They be talk, they be talking about Chirac and Jack. Bro, Alabama got it, bro. Al no, bro. There's no way. Crew were set up. Me somebody started shooting at you from like across the street. They even released a surveillance camera. And from outside instead the of like ducking or like hiding behind cover and shooting back, you run towards Rubber them. Shot, bro. Showing him. Bro, bro, yeah. Alabama. Bro. Back bro, it's no way. It's no way. Bro, what? Then, in February 2021, oh. the tragic news broke that Brazy's grandparents had been shot and killed and their I home had been burned to the ground while they were inside. The grandparents of a local rapper shot and killed, then their home set on fire. The grim details just revealed by emotional family members at yeah, the Yeah, whoever did that was on demon timing, bro. To kill someone's grandparents and then set their house on fire, bro, what, bro? 6.30 p.m. on February 17, 2021, the neighbors of Brazy's grandparents heard bullets tear through their home. A few minutes later, they went outside to find the neighbor's house on fire. Other witnesses reported that they had heard gunshots and then an explosion as the house went up in flames. It took three hours for firefighters to put out the fire, and by that point, everything was destroyed. But they were able to determine that two people inside the house had been killed. A witness said that he had heard over 100 gunshots, and he and his You tell me they unloaded over 100 gunshots to kill some dudes, bro, 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 yeah, bro, yeah, bro. <laughs> it is, yeah, bro, yeah. I don't know what's going on, bro. I, bro, what? A hundred shots to kill some 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 dude's grandparents. Then you said they, bro, they got it, bro. They got it. Mother had to duck for cover. <laughs> they got the two it. Two victims were later identified as Layla and Tony Lewis, the grandparents of Honeycomb Brazy. 
Leela hey, and Tommy Lewis and were the head of their families. And we've also learned that they are the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. They were in their 60s and well-loved members of the community. After the news broke, the rapper posted a photo of his grandparents to IG to mourn his loss, writing, Long live grandma and grandpa. Y'all was my heart, for real. I put y'all in every song. I hate y'all got caught up in my shit. Shaking my head, this shit hurt, man. I begged y'all to let me move y'all every day, but y'all taught me how to be a stand-up guy. Y'all told me if it's our time, it's our time. God got us. That's how I know y'all in heaven. Y'all baby boy got y'all for show. Granny, I'ma miss you bad already, and I'ma for sure miss smoking that gas with you, grandpa. Y'all save me a spot, cause I'm definitely coming to see y'all. Bro, you're, just, you're not coming to see them, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You, 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 you're not going to heaven with them, bro. I'm gonna keep it a stack. This of the attack shows that it was not only targeted, it was personal. Brazy wasn't even in mobile at the time of the murder, so they intended to go after his grandparents. Police later identified a man named Darren Jamark Southall as a person of interest in the case. Yeah, that's right, Lenise. And that's just part of the story. The big news tonight is that for the first time since Tony and Layla Lewis were murdered inside of their home months ago, detectives telling me they're taking a long, hard look at a guy named Darren Southall. Southall is an accused drug pin with ties to the Gulf Cartel who had escaped from prison. Bro, ties to the, to, to the what cartel? Bro. bro. What is going on in Alabama, bro? What is going on? South Hall is an accused drug pin with ties to the Gulf Cartel. The Gulf Cartel would escape from prison. What? South Hall escape from prison. What? Bro, what? What is this video I'm watching? This is crazier than anything shot right Jacksonville video I've ever witnessed, bro. What is going on? I'm so confused. accused of overseeing a massive drug operation that sold crack, cocaine, and fentanyl all along the Gulf Coast, and is currently facing federal drug charges. South Hall was not arrested in connection to the murder, but named by police as a person of interest. The 42-year-old is being investigated because he's the uncle of Stank, the 22-year-old that Brazy allegedly murdered back in 2016. The family connection explains why the killers would take it to such a brutal extreme. But police say that Stank's murder may not be the only reason for the double homicide, and there's likely more to their beef than just that. At this point, South Hall has not been arrested for the crime, but is being investigated. The murder does seem to be more serious than a regular neighborhood beef. The victims were not only two innocent people, they were killed in a cold, planned way that sent yeah. a serious message. There's a big difference between spraying a house with bullets and accidentally hitting an innocent bystander and targeting family members by burning down their home while they're yeah, inside. Bro, that is like, oh, that's literally like, bro, that's literally like terrorist, terrorist activity, bro. Bro, to go after somebody's grandparents and then say, bro, that is literally terrorist activity, bro. That is crazy. Hi. So it seems like the rapper may have had an enemy that's even crazier than he is. All in all, Brazy spent over a decade in prison, even though he's only in his late 20s and he's been shot at more than eight times. His ops have even given up trying to take him out and have turned to going after anyone close to him. But if the life of Honeycomb Brazy wasn't wild enough, the rapper would end up getting sent back to jail just recently for violating his probation by appearing in a rap video with guns and drugs. Bro, literally, he has a gold camel on the AK, bro. This dude is literally master prestige. Bro, oh my, bro, what, what is going Brazy on? Brazy is still on probation for the 2016 case where he was booked for being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. A local rapper is back in the headlines tonight. Honeycomb Brazy in jail on gun and drug charges. He only served 18 months of his 15 year sentence and now the court wants him to go back and serve the additional 13 and a half years. They tried to get him once before for violating his probation, but the charges didn't stick. Now. They got all the evidence they need from his own music videos and social media. The court was able to put together 15 different video clips. Oh my that show God, bro, you're felon posting on. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> this is so bad. This is literally 4K, bro. Like what? Like they pulled this up in the court office. You know what I'm saying? Talking about you violated your probation. What? You can't, you can't. Like what did your lawyer do? <laughs> your your firearms lawyer do? and drugs. His lawyers tried to argue that anything appearing to be guns or drugs were fake and just props that were being used for oh, video. Oh, they props. Yeah, yeah, they props. Yeah. Because the use of any real weapons or drugs goes against his company's insurance policy. But the court pointed to the incident that happened back in 2020 when Brazy and his crew were shot at in Montgomery so County and fired back. Clearly. They started shooting at them and then this dude gets out the car and charges at them, bro. Like, like they got a two pumps or something, bro. Like, what? what is going on? Guns then. So Brazy was around real guns at some point. 
but the rapper wasn't actually the one shooting any guns and his boys were acting in self-defense. Prosecutors also accused Brazy of failing to check in with his probation officer, but his lawyers claimed that this was because he feared for his life and his grandparents were killed and didn't want to be seen anywhere that he could be tracked. The court also pointed out that at one point, he admitted to his parole officer that he had used marijuana and Percocet and traveled outside of the state to go to Houston, Texas. These are all violations of his probation. So even if the evidence in the videos are just props, they clearly show a lifestyle that he's actually living. The judge took several weeks to review the evidence and determined that Brazy should finish out the remainder of his 15 year sentence for refusing to follow the terms of his parole. It looks like Jones is going back to prison for a long time. Yeah, it does, Byron and Lenise. Jones only served 18 months of a 15 year sentence. But you know how lucky you have to be to have a 15 year sentence and only serve 18 months, bro? Uncharged. But the DA's <laughs> office telling me. How many more chances do they have to give you, bro? For you to not take, like. About an hour oh, ago, that he'll now have it. to finish that original 15 year sentence. Mm. It does seem like they may be out to get brazy for all the trouble he's caused in the streets of Mobile. The rapper has said in interviews that it's not just him, but his whole family that is living that life. His father's locked up for a murder charge, his uncle's doing a bit in federal prison, and all his cousins are well known on the streets. He's been going back and forth from prison since he was just a kid and has been on probation since he was 10 years old. So Brazy isn't the kind of rapper who's just making up stories for clout. He's really out here, not only with people from his own hood, but serious criminals with connections to the cartel. It seems like the life he's been living has finally caught up to him and the cops want to put him away before anyone else gets hurt. Honeycomb Brazy is another example of a rapper. Dang, ready taking off his chain and everything? Oh my god. Who got caught up in a cycle of trying to be a gangster and a rapper at the same time. Although being a real thug is what made his music blow up, once you start getting millions of views, it can be hard to stay active in the streets. Either you're gonna end up in jail or people close to you are gonna get hurt. Unfortunately, Brazy has had to deal with both, even though he had a promising career ahead of him in the music industry. Bro, wait, hold on, bro. What are the bro like? is going on it out so being a real bro, thug is what made his music blow up once you start getting bro what are you, bro <laughs> bro this dude got millions of views it can be hard to stay active in the streets either you're going to end up in jail or people close to you are going to get like bro what bro what is this is this a smg with a drum magazine <laughs> bro Bro, what is going on, bro? What is going on, bro? How, 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 how does one even attain this, bro? I know the South, you know, you can get any weapon you want, but like, bro, bro, this is crazy, bro. This dude got a P90 with a drum magazine, bro. It hurt. <laughs> Unfortunately, Brazy has had to deal with both, even though he had a promising career ahead of him in the music industry. Hopefully, he's got a good team and some lawyers who can get his charges overturned or his sentence reduced. But it seems like it may be a while before fans get to hear another track from Honeycomb Brazy. If you thought this video was crazy, be sure to- Yes, this video was very much crazy. I did not know how to was like that at all. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, and we out, bro.